I'm documenting this because I want to remain real throughout this whole journey in my life. And I don't feel good. I feel like crap. I have been completely off my routine, which I mentioned in my last video that I posted. I've been completely off my routine. I have been just not paying attention to what I'm putting in my body. Movement is becoming less and less. And I don't feel good. And this is the part that I hate. I hate not feeling good. I hate when my mood is low. I hate when my energy is low. I hate when I feel sluggish. That all signals to me that I need to make a change and go back to the way things were. And I was doing so good, you guys. Even during like COVID, quarantine, everything. I know it's still going on. But like even for so much of that, I was so dedicated to myself and... Just the past, I would say, month. Yeah, about a month. July was pretty good. But for the past month, I've been just letting things fly that I normally wouldn't. Like, oh, I, I'm not going to bother working out today. I'll just do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and then I don't do it. And then my mood is low. And then it's just a downward spi spiral. And I think people can relate to that. Like, it's just, I feel it. My mood's low, my anxiety's high, everything is just jumbled, and I have to make a change. I'm gaining weight. I don't, I guess I don't know for sure if I am, because I'm not weighing myself. Uh, I stopped weighing myself probably back in mid-July or so, just because the goal was never weight loss, anymore like I've lost the weight that I was set out to to lose I was feeling good so it didn't matter what the scale says I know it doesn't matter anyway what the scale says but it really didn't matter to me so I stopped weighing myself and I do feel like I feel better when I'm not constantly weighing myself but I don't know I haven't weighed myself to actually know but I feel it I see it my clothes fit differently so there's definitely been a weight gain which is fine, but I feel like that is just another symptom of I'm not feeling well. So I don't want to revert back to all my old habits because it's so easy to do that. Like it's so easy to revert back to old ways and I can see myself doing it and it's just, I'm good. I have to stop. I have to, I have to make my exercise a top priority. I have to plan my meals. If I don't plan what I'm going to eat for the week, it's like I'm a toddler. I can't, like, I'm literally like, ah! like, if I don't have a set plan, then I just go off the rails. It's just ridiculous. And then I feel so crappy like I get headaches and like I'm not I don't normally eat a lot of sugar anymore and I have been so I'm starting to get my headaches again and I was off the headaches like I haven't had headaches in so long and now I'm getting them again and it's just it's not good you guys like I am struggling I'm on the struggle bus don't come for the ride it's not fun struggle buses are terrible they suck but it's all part of the process I've done it before like I think I struggled around this time last year actually I typically do struggle in the summer not just like weight loss or anything like that but like mentally I struggle a bit more in the summer because my routine is always off because I'm so used to the school routine and then when that ends and then it's all like a free-for-all we're going to bed at all different times we're waking up at noon I struggle so I need to get myself back on track i need to be drinking all my water i mean the water has been terrible but it can it can use improvement so i gotta get all my water in i got to go to bed early i gotta wake up earlier i gotta move my body i gotta plan my meals and i know within a couple days mentally i am going to feel so much better but right now it's just like Ugh, like it's so crazy how much healthy foods and moving your body actually affects your mental health. For me, it is everything. And for, oh jeez, what the heck? Mental, mental health for it for me, like if I'm in top mental health, then I am winning. Like if I feel good mentally, 
the rest, like I am good and I'm not feeling good right now. And I actually got blood work done the other day and my thyroid's all off, which could be contributing to the problem is because I know my energy has been low. I've been very tired, anxious. Those are all symptoms of thyroid for me, like low thyroid. I've had my thyroid has been underactive for many years. And when it's off, those are typically the symptoms I start to feel. So could be that. I mean, it's just, it's tech. I honestly think it's probably because I'm not doing my exercising and all of that stuff. I think that's a huge contribute and contributor to how I'm feeling, but just wanted to throw that out there. And my thyroid is a bit out of whack right now. So I have gotten my new meds, like my, it's the same med, it's just a higher dose that I'm on for my thyroid. So I'm hoping with the combination of that, getting my thyroid all back in check, getting my nutrition down. So I'm um, fueling my body with amazing foods and moving my body, drinking all the water, getting all the rest that I am going to feel back to myself and good again, because I just feel like I cannot go on feeling so sluggish and gross. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I've fallen, but it's okay. We all fall. We just gotta get back on track, right? Okay. Anyways, thanks for listening. Bye.